What's good everyone, it's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk, back with another video today. For today's video, we will be taking a look at the LeBron 21 in the Abalone Pearl colorway. All right, so as I mentioned, we will be taking a look at the Abalone Pearl colorway. As you can see right here, it kind of has this crazy pearlized upper, and you might ask yourself, where does this come from? What is it inspired by? Now the LeBron 21 itself is inspired by an oyster shell theme. And the purpose of this colorway right here is to kind of recreate the iridescent gemstones produced by an abalone mollusks on this upper of this basketball shoe right here. So when you do kind of open up a seashell or an oyster shell, and it kind of has that iridescent look on the inside of the shell, this shoe right here, this colorway is exactly what that is inspired by here on the Nike LeBron 21. And really quickly, taking a look at the box right here, on the top of the box, you do have LeBron's signature. You have the LJ crown logo. On the size tag label, it does read LeBron 21 industrial blue. I did get these in my true to size 10 and a half. On this side right here, it does kind of have these perforations that does read 21. And then on the inside of the box, you do kind of have that seashell or oyster shell inspired paper. But without further ado, let's take a quick look at the shoes. All right, so starting at the bottom of the Nike LeBron 21 Abalone Pearl, you kind of have this pearlized iridescent translucent outsole right here. It kind of has a pearlized outsole when it kind of hits certain lighting. And as you can see right here, you do have this multi-directional traction pattern. And you might ask yourself how this traction performs on court. I do have a full performance review on the Nike LeBron 21. And this outsole performs amazing on clean floors. On dirty floors, you will have to wipe every so often, but it's a very tried and true traction pattern. It does wrap up the medial side so you do have some extra coverage right here. But overall, this traction pattern is absolutely fantastic on the Nike LeBron 21. Now, when you move your way to the upper, you do kind of have this industrial blue here on the midsole. As you can see right here, it does wrap all the way around the shoe. And on the medial side right here, it does say Air Zoom. And then the upper, it kind of feels like a patent leather material. It is a little bit thicker. Um, it's definitely not a leather material because just the way this shines and has that iridescent look I don't think you'd be able to capture that on a leather upper So it kind of feels like a patent leather material Which I'm not mad at because I am really enjoying all the premium touches that we're getting on the Nike LeBron 21 With the 20s I still prefer that upper with the knit upper because it does break in quicker But I'm not mad at what the brand is doing with just kind of giving you a different look on the upper on the Nike LeBron 21 in basically every colorway so far. So on the lateral side, you do kind of have that swoosh that is coming out of the shoe and it does have the stitch mark underneath the swoosh. And then on the medial side, you have the swoosh right here that kind of shows the materials underlaying this patent leather upper. At the back of the shoe, you do have these fly wire strands kind of wrapped around this little jewel that does read 21. When you flip this up at the back, it does say established in 1984. The bronze 39th birthday was recently. And then the inside of the shoe is very quilted, as you can see at the back of the tongue here. A ton of padding here, and then a bunch more padding here at the Achilles. So the LeBron 21 is just such a comfortable shoe. On the tongue, sitting atop the tongue, you do have his signature logo here with some perforations. And then the tongue itself, as it goes down, you can see all these huge cutouts and that's for airflow. So this shoe, as far as in the middle, is going to be very breathable. But obviously with this upper here, it's not going to be very breathable. This shoe is going to basically keep all of the heat trapped inside. So that is one downfall with this material versus the knit material. The Nike LeBron 21 is a bit hotter compared to last year's Nike LeBron 20, in my opinion. As far as the performance goes, like I already mentioned in the video, I do have a full performance review on my channel if you wanna check it out as far as how the Nike LeBron 21 performs. But as far as the cushioning setup on this pair right here, I do believe you do get Cushlon 2.0 and that's basically from right here forward. 
Um, it's just a lot softer as far as a cushion material goes. It takes basically no time to break in. And honestly, it feels very nice underfoot. I absolutely love it. Where it differs compared to the Nike LeBron 20 is at the back of the shoe. This chunk of foam right here, it kind of feels like a phylon. It's very dense and firm. Um, a lot of people did not like the Nike LeBron 21 cushion at the back of the shoe. They just felt it was too mushy and the shoe was collapsing on them too much. That was not the case for me. I love the cushioning on the Nike LeBron 21. The 21 firms it up just a little bit in the heel. So you do have that Cushlon 2.0 for the most part. And then what it feels to be like a Phylon material here at the back. And then housed within this foam midsole is a super large Zoom airbag in the heel. It basically is the full portion of the heel right here. I believe it's like 13 or 14 millimeters. So it's just a massive crash pad landing for your heel. Now in the forefoot, you do have a Zoom Turbo Bag. So again, it runs basically the whole forefoot of this shoe and it just keeps your foot closer to the floor here in the Nike LeBron 21. So as far as cushioning goes, this shoe is pretty unmatched. If you like Nike Zoom, look no further because this shoe is pretty maxed out. I would say the only shoe that has more Zoom or just more of a bouncy feel is the Nike GT Jump 2, that shoe is just crazy bouncy, but if you're looking for something that's gonna be lightweight, a low top basketball shoe with supreme cushioning, look no further because these guys are just that. As far as the support goes on this shoe, starting at the bottom, you do have a pretty wide and stable base right here at the forefoot, and then you do get a plastic shank plate right here. Now that's a place where a lot of people had some gripes because in the 20s you had carbon fiber, on these, you just have this little plastic crown logo shank plate. And then moving your way to the back of the shoe, you do have a very sturdy heel counter here at the back of the shoe to keep your heel locked in on the LeBron 21 and just keeping everything sturdy on this hoops shoe. The upper, as far as the materials go, the pair that I played in was the purple pair. It did have kind of like a suede or nubuck material. I found it to be very strong. This material here, we'll see how it performs on court. I hope it's more of the same because on those, it was very strong as far as hard lateral cuts. You also sit housed within this midsole ever so slightly, especially here at the forefoot, your foot is sitting housed within this. So on those hard lateral cuts, it does kind of keep your foot housed within that midsole. And then as you can see right here, it does have a very wide and stable base with this outrigger kind of poking out the side. So if you do land awkwardly on someone's foot, it's there to help prevent you from spraining your ankle. And then underneath this material is actually fly wire. You can see some fly wire here at the back of the shoe, but then you can kind of see these indentations or kind of the material running throughout the upper on this iridescent upper here. The fly wire material is there, so when you're making those hard lateral cuts, you're not gonna spill over the footbed and it's basically gonna harness your foot in. If you really crank these laces down, it's gonna wrap around your foot as far as the lacing system on the LeBron 21, the bottom two eyelets are kind of housed within the shoe in a hidden lacing system. And then everything above that is on the exterior of the shoe. And these two guys right here actually have some fly wire material running through the eyelets. So if you do crank these two lace loops really tight right here, it will wrap around your foot and just really house your foot in the Nike LeBron. 21. Overall, this is a fantastic performer. If you haven't looked at my top 10 shoes of 2023 for on court for basketball, take a look at that video because this shoe right here did make it to my number two spot. And I'm just really loving what Nike is doing with LeBron's signature shoes. Um, basically with the 20s, the next gens, and now these, in my opinion, they have very much revived his shoe line because they're more or less built for any play style now. Whereas compared to before, his shoes were just tanks. They were specifically built for him. And I'm loving what the brand is doing here. I'm very happy with this colorway. And honestly, I paid, I believe it was 190 Canadian from Courtside Sneakers here in Canada. They had a Boxing Day sale. Uh, retail here in Canada is 270. In the US, these run for 210. And I caught them for 190 Canadian dollars, which is around 150. American. Definitely so. happy with what I paid for this pair here. As far as the sizing goes on the LeBron 21, I'm typically a 10 and a half or 11. With these and the Nike LeBron 21 in general, I do go with a size 10 and a half. And my toe is right near the end of the shoe. It's very much a snug one-to-one -one fit. And if you're a wide footer, I think you might be able to go true to size. 
but as you can see right here towards the toes it does taper in just a little bit so you might want to go half a size up as always if you can try these on in store i would say that's your best bet but for me i went true to size and i had no problems at all as far as the weight goes for the nike lebron 21 really quickly a size 10 and a half does come in at 14.9 ounces so again i'm just loving with what the brand is doing on making lightweight low top basketball shoes for a signature athlete like lebron so that's going to do it for today's video on the nike lebron 21 in the abalone pearl colorway let me know what you guys think of these down in the comments i don't think there's a ton of videos of these online or on youtube in general as far as this colorway and how it's depicted in person so i did want to give you guys a quick look on these guys right here again you can get these on sale right now i believe they're even on nike us's website for like 150 dollars I think this shoe is a fantastic buy. So let me know down in the comments if you've tried them and if you've watched my performance review on them. But as always, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that does help the channel a ton. And check out my Instagram over at Sneaker Tech Talk as it is an extension of my YouTube channel with all my pickups, basketball footage, and nostalgia as a whole. As always, thanks for watching today's video. And until next time, peace.